Hi, I'm Caroline and thank you for joining me today for another movement snack. Today we're going to come to lying down. So we spend a lot of time sitting, whether that's on a sofa or at a desk. So finding a, a shape that supports you. And it's a semi-supine position, so we're lying on our back and our feet are flat on the floor. And you may want to have a little bit of support under the head. So I've got a very thin folded blanket, nothing too high. We want to keep the neck in line with the spine. Feet are flat on the floor. And you may want to take a moment to just play with the feet. The further away the feet are from you, the more support you're going to have the lumbar spine. The lower back just gently sinks into the ground. Maybe you bring the heels in towards the body to create more of the natural curve of the spine. Hands can rest on the belly. Maybe the shoulders soften a little towards the earth. And have a sense the center of your back of the head is resting on the floor. And that might mean tucking the chin just a couple of centimeters there. If it feels possible, breathing in and out through the nose. And noticing how the rib cage rises and falls with your breath. Maybe you feel your shoulders can drop a little more towards the earth. Maybe the eyes soften or the gaze softens. Maybe you close the eyes. I'm just taking these first few moments to breathe, to enjoy lying down, being supported by the earth. Maybe you begin to notice the rise and fall of your belly. And if you place your hands on your belly, you may find that helps to direct the breath as you breathe in. Notice the ribcage expand and also the belly. And as you breathe out, notice how the ribcage and the belly gently shrink back down. We're going to begin to make some movement with the left arm to begin with today. So floating the arm up towards the sky and then behind you. Maybe you're able to reach all the way behind you, allow the back of the hand to rest on the floor. Maybe it comes into more of a kind of cactus shape. So really just depending on how your arm, how your shoulder feels. If there's tightness, you might find the cactus shape is a bit more supportive. So floating the arm back and then bringing the arm to rest down beside the body. And you're welcome to start to integrate the breath as well. So maybe you breathe in to float the arm behind you and breathe out to bring the arm and the hand down by the side of your body. Taking two more movements on the left hand side. And then finding yourself back in stillness, bringing both hands down onto the floor beside you. And just notice if anything's changed between the two shoulders. 
between the two sides of the body, you may find that the left side feels a little bit softer, a little bit more relaxed. And then we'll take the same movement on the right side of the body. So taking the right hand up and slowly behind you and taking a moment just to notice how the right shoulder feels. If this is your dominant side, it's likely to be a little bit tighter. So maybe you come into that cactus arm shape, a bit more space for the shoulder here. Making sure there's no pain, there's no strain, you're just bringing movement. Creating a bit of space down the right side of the body. Welcome to start to integrate the breath. So maybe you breathe in to float the arm up and behind you and breathe out to bring the arm, the hand back down to side of the body. Taking two more movements on this side. And slowly finding your way back into stillness. Maybe noticing a difference again with the right shoulder. Hopefully everything's feeling a little softer. And we're gonna take both hands behind us now. So you're welcome to reach behind you, or maybe you come into a soft cactus shape position with the arms. You'll notice immediately the upper chest lifts. So you'll feel a sense of the rib cage lifting up, creating a bit more of a, an arch in the back of the body. But this means we've got a bit more space here in the back of the body to really expand the rib cage in all directions. So breathing in, And breathing out. Long, deep breaths. You may want to breathe in through the nose. And breathe out through the mouth. Taking two more breaths here. And slowly releasing the arms back down to the side of the body or towards the belly. We're going to roll over onto one side and bring a little bit more movement here to the, to the side of the body. So I've got my hand resting here on the floor and the elbow to support the, the upper body into a position of rest. Knees are bent to find a sense of balance and support here. And my, my right hand is on the top of my right thigh. It doesn't matter which side you start on, we're going to take both sides. And as we breathe in, we're going to raise the chest towards the sky, so it becomes a little bit of a twist, a rotation here. And as we breathe out, taking the chest towards the floor. So a rotation through the spine, a twist through the spine. This, this is a movement we don't often come into. We often bend forwards, maybe reach backwards, but do it always through our day. Twist the spine in opposite direction. And this might be enough for you just here, or you're welcome to begin to integrate the arm as well and the movement in the arm. So as we breathe out and roll the chest forwards, the hand, the arm can almost thread through the gap created and the other arm, 
And then as we breathe in, maybe you reach up, maybe you reach behind you, finding a position here that supports you, that creates a little bit more space around the shoulders and the upper chest. It can be very soft, gentle movement, small movement. Maybe it's a little wider. And if there's any pain or tightness or feeling of strain in the shoulder, just allowing the arm to rest, still getting a twist through the spine. But ensuring there is no pain. And taking one more movement on this side. And slowly releasing down. And we're going to change sides. So you may just want to come down towards the mat and roll over. I'm going to change sides so you're able to see me if needed. And setting up on the other side. So my elbow's flat on the floor or in contact with the floor. So is my hand. Softness here. And releasing through the shoulders. Bend in the knees. And beginning just with the rotation of the spine. So as we breathe out, chest moving towards the floor. As we breathe in, chest reaching up towards the sky. So beginning to find a little bit more space between the vertebrae of the spine. So if we've been sitting a lot, if you're a runner, really important to bring some movement, some mobility towards the spine. Often we're sitting in a, a static position for long periods of time. So just changing the shape and movement of the body. Maybe you begin to integrate the arm here. So as you breathe in, maybe the arm reaches up, reaches out. So you breathe out. Maybe the arm comes around and even goes all the way through the gap of the other arm. So just making sure this movement is supporting you. It may look very different to me as you're working with your body and your shoulder mobility, the space you want to create in the spine. Taking two more movements on this side. And then slowly lowering yourself back down to our semi-supine position. Come into a little bit of a twist through the legs. So the hands are going to rest on the floor, feet a little further away from you, almost wider than hip distance, quite a wide stance here, and gently rotating the knees from side to side. Almost like windscreen wipers of a car. And bringing a little bit of space to the lower back, the lumbar spine. Bringing the knees back to centre. Drawing the knees in for a hug. You may want to draw the knees in for a hug and gently release. It's like a massage for the digestive system. It can also feel lovely to bring some circles to the knees. It's almost like we're massaging the lower back. And slowly releasing down towards the floor, 
and rolling over onto one side and finding your way up to a seated position. Maybe that's coming to a chair, kneeling or seating cross-legged and just noticing if you've created a little bit of space in the upper body, relieved any tension, any tightness. 